Gold prices headed lower today. As recall, yesterday we saw gold prices open up at around 1838, 1836, trade down below 1820, but spent much of the afternoon recovering that sell off, getting back to basically unchanged on the day. Today we saw a similar open, 1836 to 1838. We traded down to below 1820 and we're unable to rally. That's where we ended up the closing up of the session, down and below 1820. And obviously a lot going on. The dollar's stronger today. Those treasury yields going higher today, both of those big obstacles to higher gold prices. However, when you see the sell-off in equities and potential of flight to quality bid, that would have given you a reason why gold prices should have or could have gone up. Likewise, we had a very strong CPI this morning and inflation uh, hawks know that uh, that's going to be negative to the dollar. It wasn't today, which typically would be bullish to gold and wasn't. So at this point, gold prices hovering down around yesterday's low, uh, still well above 1800, which is significant. A, a trade back below 1800 would certainly shift momentum that we uh, we built up over the last week, week and a half. So gold prices down today as the dollar's higher and treasury yields go higher as well. Uh, what does that mean for volatility? Well, check out that Seavolt index over at cmegroup.com. You'll notice that volatility remains very price directional. Higher, uh, higher gold prices equals higher volatility and lower gold prices equals lower volatility. We saw that today as gold prices continue to go down or went down, I should say. Uh, volatility declined as well. Uh, at this point, you, you probably want to wait and see for a big spike. You need to see a major move higher in prices, new highs even, to see a big spike higher. Likewise, we get down, uh, trade that back down below that 1800 level, you should see volatility uh, decline as well. But at this point, we're just seeing it nudge lower as prices uh, waver between 1820 and 1840. Uh, we are at the lower end of that range, and hence we saw lower, a lower shift in volatility today. Lastly, let's talk about that CPI number and the Fed versus inflation. So the inflation numbers were strong today. They came in, the CPI came in very high, uh, attributed to many different air variables, but certainly the Fed speakers that came out today talked about a lot of this inflation being transitory. Well, the market's pricing in some higher rates, possibly quicker than the Fed is saying, and that may be what we're seeing some of this trader, the higher dollar, lower gold prices. Obviously, gold's biggest obstacle is higher rates and higher yields. And if that's the case, and the Fed's gonna be more active quicker, that would be negative to gold prices. However, the Fed's been saying they're not going to act quicker. They're going to wait. They're going to even talk about waiting uh, to taper their asset purchases for quite some time. That would be bullish to gold. So the tug of war here seems to be the market winning over what the Fed is saying. It'll be interesting to see how this all plays out in the days and weeks ahead. But certainly the Fed is going to be handcuffed here if inflation continues to move higher through their 2% uh, level that they want to hang their head on. They did say they would allow uh, inflation to run a little hotter than their mandated 2%. But in this case, we're starting to see vol inflation numbers that are very, very strong and across the board. It's not singly one area, it's across the board higher inflation. That typically would be uh, bullish to gold. But again, it's not, it's the Fed versus the, versus the market. Right now, the market seems to be winning as we see gold prices heading lower. So midweek, we see gold prices back down where they were yesterday morning, but unable to recover. And tomorrow we get more inflation data in PPI, we get claims and a lot more Fed speakers to mix things up.